Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next live attack video, you may notice the interface is not how it usually is, not the new interface, the old one, and that's because I'm on my MacBook Air, don't have access to my desktop to do the full interface with the face cam and the music and all that stuff. So it's gonna be an old live attack, but maybe some of you guys will kinda of like that style. Um, but once I get back to, uh, to my desktop, I'll switch back to the uh, regular live attack styles. But anyway, this is from the All-Star War. We have the CWL Premier All-Stars against the CWL Invite All-Stars. Um, of course, I'm on the Premier side. Trying a 10v11 attempt here. That's what I made it for, so I should stay true and attack 10v11. Uh, just so you guys know, gonna have some awesome coverage of 9v9, 10v10, maybe some 11v11. Just a ton of attacks from this war are gonna be shown because it's the only place we see the best attackers attacking some of the best bases um, in the top two leagues. We have 100 great attackers, so you guys are gonna see a ton of coverage of this um, and see a lot of videos on it. So. Uh, stick around should be fun, but let's get to this attack though um, The plan is actually pretty simple which is surprising for me because uh, typically my plans are not but uh, this one is I'm gonna start off with a um, Actually, I don't think I have it trained up. I'll have to train this up, but I'm gonna start off with a uh, a loon and a baby dragon. I don't think I'd trained up the loon. I need that test loon just to test for seeking air mines. You never know um, Gonna drop the baby dragon to take out these two buildings basically um, yeah, take, well actually just on the army camp probably, baby dragon on the army camp, let it come down here. Then gonna drop the queen right here. She will snipe these three step up and I'm hoping she'll go this way. Um, she'll get locked onto this wizard tower, to the cannon archer tower. And then I'm hoping what uh, pulls her is going to be uh, this, um, this spell factory. Once she gets there, she's gonna go ahead and turn the corner and target this. It's what I'm hoping. We'll have to see. Um, the queen, if she does go the wrong way, I'll have to adjust. We can talk about that in just a second. Um, but if she does go the right way, um, she will uh, walk up here. And as she's walking up, I should not need to rage her up. I'm thinking with five healers, I think she'll be fine through this without any expos or anything on her. Um, but I'll keep an eye on her. Um, then I'm gonna drop a golem and about, uh, seven bowlers and a rage take out that area then one more golem um wall break in bowlers king um and then this is the big push jump for the town hall not bring a heal i'm gonna let the healers themselves do the healing i'm just gonna bring a freeze and then i have two rages if i have to use one on the queen i'll only have one rage but i'm thinking i'll still have two um, I'm gonna push for that town hall, uh, poison the CC, whatever it is, and we'll see how this one shapes up. But I'm feeling good about it. I think it's a good plan. Uh, the queen walk, a lot depends on that, but I'm thinking, um, I'll check some of the ranges and stuff, but I think the queen should uh, get, go the correct way. Let's go ahead and go in game and uh, look a little bit closer here, then we'll go ahead and start the attack. But I just remember I need to train up that test loon I uh, didn't have that trained up, but it is part of the plan. So let's get rid of a bowler and um, train up the test loon. I guess an archer going to make it more scrolling. I have to do, uh, but whatever. We'll, we'll gem that in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at the base one more time. Uh, this is base number four here um, and see just exactly uh, the ranges and stuff. So this cannon, uh, it should lock on once the wizard tower is being targeted. So yeah, actually I might have to rage the queen up now that I look at it uh, with the three point defense on her. I'll keep a close eye, but I think I might have to rage her up. If I do, it's not a huge deal. I'll just, um, won't have that initial rage for the entry. I'll just drop it back by this gold mine air defense and they'll get raged up. It'll extend uh, close to the town hall. So that should be fine. Um, not a big deal if I have to rage her up, which I'm starting to think I might have to, but the pathing I, I think should be good. I get this stuff taken out with the queen, or with the baby dragon, I mean, and then I have the queen target these three, that, that, and I think she'll get sucked in by these buildings and eventually pulled into this spell factory. If she goes the wrong way, or if she goes through the wall, um, <laughs> that will be interesting as, to, as far as what I do. I'm thinking I will have to, she should at least get this stuff. So I think I'll just do the attack as I normally would. 
um, maybe move things a little bit farther to the left to account for the, what the queen's not getting. But I think I'll just kind of do the attack as it is, even if she goes through the wall or goes the wrong way. So um, always have to be ready to adapt. Let's go ahead and go back. I think I still have to gem something, uh, extra poison there. Oh, it looks like it trained up. Okay, so we got the two poisons, the freeze, the jump, three rages, um, CC bowlers, the two golems, the five healers. Uh, yeah, everything looks good. I think we're just about ready uh, to hit this base here. Let's go ahead and do it. Not going to have any music. Not sure if that's going to make it sound awkward or not, but um, it makes it easier um, on my laptop to not have to do the editing and stuff. Uh, a lot, lot more goes into it on the laptop than on the uh, the YouTube computer, so to speak. Uh, so let's I have that loon, right? Okay, good. Got the loon. Just got to make sure. Uh, yep. Everything looks good. I'll drop the qu queen right behind the barracks, and I think she should do her job. All right, let's go ahead and attack this. All right, we're in. Let's see what we got. Okay, start off with the loon, baby dragon, then the queen. All right. Loon, baby dragon... Queen, wait on these healers for a second, Let's see what she's going to do, one, two, three, four, five, looks like she'll go the right way, but can't speak too soon, let's get a rage ready just in case we need it, okay, she's out of range of the cannon, which is good, the test the popping, taking a little bit of damage here, I don't know if she targets that. I have to rage her up. Uh, I'm not loving the order she's taking things out in. I think she might go through the wall here. I think there's a very good chance she is going to shoot that wall. Yep, yeah, let's give her a wall breaker to help. Nope. Oh, actually, what we can do here is break her in higher up. Very clever. Okay, let's get the golems going. Golem, golem, four, five, six, seven, rage, one, two, three. There's a bomb there, that sucks. Okay, the queen's in the base. Need the bowlers to shoot through the wall on their own. Gonna have to pop the queen's ability. Pop the king to get him through that wall any day now. Jump. If I have any bowlers left to rage. Freeze. Poison. I mean, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, that wall breaker fail was just killer. Didn't have a test wall breaker, so. Yep, it's going to be a fail. We'll go ahead and just kind of scout the bottom here. Uh, see what we got. Drop a wizard here. Drop an archer here. That will do it. Um, we'll take a look at the replay, but I think just um, maybe she'll let the queen go through the wall there. Um, okay, so accidentally had a little bit of a technical problem there. Uh, splicing in this next part. This is just um, we just left off at the end of the attack there. Uh, but this is my commentary on what happened. And um, taking a look at the replay here, I think it's pretty clear that the wall breaker fail was the biggest thing that happened. Um, but the queen, well, let's go through everything. The queen takes out the buildings kind of in the wrong order. I was hoping she'd step up for the wizard tower at these buildings, then go up for that uh, that spell factory, spell factory last. That was what I was hoping, but she went up and got the spell factory before she came back down, at which point, as you guys kind of heard, I knew she's pretty much going for the wizard tower, um, or sorry, for the builder hut through the wall. So that was unfortunate, um, but I don't think that really lost it for me. I had to, I went ahead and decided to sacrifice a few wall breakers, or not to sacrifice, but to use them to open up the wall instead of making her sit there and just shoot the wall. Maybe that wasn't the best choice because it, it took away a test wall breaker. And sure enough, that guy has a test wall breaker, right? Or <laughs> that guy has a small bomb right on the top of his base. 
I think if I let the queen shoot through the wall, she probably would have done the same thing, pretty much. It got her out of two point defenses, but really, besides that, um, did she she kind of, she's gonna path the same way she comes back down um towards the inferno tower there so that didn't make a huge difference also i should have dropped the three wall breakers in a different spot by the army camp because knowing that there uh there was only three wall breakers and i couldn't afford a fail or a test wall breaker i should have not dropped them in the most obvious spot for a single bomb although there was the tesla there which probably would have killed the wall breakers so Probably the best idea would have been to not wall break the queen in and just let her shoot through the wall and uh, save the wall breakers because my bowlers got mashed up by the eagle, I think. Just the fact that wall didn't open up um, delayed my bowler so much. Now, that being said, I might have still not even got the town hall uh, even with the the everything going well with the wall breakers at 12 o'clock. I still would have, it's still possible I, I might not have uh, gotten the town hall there. So, yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, I guess we'll learn from the mistakes. But if the queen goes towards 12 o'clock, which um, is probably much more difficult to do than, than, I, than I think I thought it was at first. But if she does enter with the kill squad, maybe have a better chance. It is a Lava Hound CC, so she wouldn't have done a whole lot in the middle of the base there. Um, tough to know if this is the right plan. This base probably going to be cleaned up. I mean, we have the best attackers uh, in the pretty much in the in competitive clan wars uh, right now, CWL being one of the, probably the most uh, well-known league and the most attractive league to, to high-level attackers. So that will do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. And uh, like I said, going to have a ton of content from this war. I'm going to be recording Town Hall 9, 10, 11 attacks, giving you guys what the best and brightest, so to speak, are using at these town hall levels. So should be a nice kind of attack meta type video or two. I might record a few different videos on what the best attacks are at each town hall level. So stick around. That should be fun. Thanks for watching, though, and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.